contents of fluid mechanics and who is joy we should understand the fluid mechanics and explain it to our student this is very very important now in a classical subject like fluid mechanics the teaching is very much involved with three components one is the physical concept of the subject another is the mathematical treatment and next one is the practical examples and there should be a well balance between these three and these three also are interrelated with one another for an example we must understand the physical concept of the subject to go into deeper to the physical concept we require a higher level mathematics a general treatment of mathematics is required for which we have to learn mathematics and again to apply mathematics and to understand the several steps of deduction we also require the physical implication of it so therefore you see the physical applications and the mathematical analysis are tagged to each other and at the same time the practical applications come as a consequence of this and for a classical subject like fluid mechanics and other basic subject the practical application is huge almost all engineering applications our day to day life everything is encompassed by such basic subjects for example fluid mechanics in the inaugural part professor shuman chakravarti gave a beautiful overview as far as the applications of fluid mechanics we have gone through it starting from the swimming of mar- microorganism or cells within our human body to the evolution of galaxies everywhere fluid mechanics is involved in. and this is not for fluid mechanics for any basic subjects that are involved with all such applications to our daily life to all engineering applications so therefore applications automatically come into picture now we all three have tried our best to explain all these three aspects of this subject as we could now the next point which i like to tell you that learning is an ever ending process we are all learners for any subject till our death we want to learn for our job we have to teach a student so when we have to teach the students in the class we are the teacher but at the same time we are learning the subject and there are different ways of learning the subject one is through teaching teaching is one very effective way of learning another one is discussion with your colleagues about the subject through this academic interaction we learn the subject and on the top of everything is your self studying self thinking which i am telling again and again today also at the end of the class i told that we could do something but you have to go through that at the end of one's career a person will understand what today i understand that to learn a subject of course we could learn very little in our lifetime for any subject like fluid mechanics or this classical subject but whatever we learn at the end we will find that effective teaching or good quality teaching is a necessary and primary component condition but not all it starts with that after what what are required is your self learning self thinking learning through teaching and through interactions with your friends students outside the classroom and your colleagues through the discussions of the subject so therefore i request you that after this course is being taught you see it again and again you yourself think over the subjects and discuss with your students discuss with your colleagues and get enriched and i hope this way we will learn better and we have we will be teaching much better and i hope all of us will have a success in this regard okay thank you and if professor shuman chakravarti wants to add something i request mm-hmm. professor koshmolli my coworker co teachers they are the excellent teachers and also you no, no, you are no. two lines no. just i wanted to uh, let all of you know that i enjoyed uh, delivering this course and i have myself learned a lot uh, while uh, giving the lectures and i hope it was useful uh, to all of you and please do remain in touch over email or over other mechanisms online and uh, let's hope that we standardize the teaching learning process of fluid mechanics in the country in a very nice way thank you very much thank you professor shom and professor chakraborty in fact shom uh, do you want to add one thing do you want to add professor 
Uh, in fact, I could attend uh, only one introductory lecture of Professor Shuman Chakraborty, and uh, I, I was just thinking that uh, we we know so little about the other department subjects. I, I belong to electronics and uh, communication, and he was saying that day that fluid mechanics fluid mechanics can help in uh, in finding a solution to the dreaded disease like cancer. In fact, uh, in fact, it was an amazing lecture by Professor Shuman Chakraborty. Thank you, thank you, Professor Shuman Chakraborty, Professor Ghosh Molik, Professor uh, Shom. Uh, now, may I request Professor Deepak B. Fatak of IIT Bombay, who is the guest of honor, to say a few words in this occasion. Over to Professor Fatak. Thank you very much, Professor Raja. Uh, I'm so happy that the Galaxy of Star Wars is present at IIT Karakpur. Professor P.P. Chakravarti himself, Professor Sabhisachi, Professor Som, Professor Suman Chakravarti, Professor Sandipan Goshmaulik. Uh, I visited three remote centers yesterday in Bhopal, and the feedback from participants was absolutely excellent. They were thrilled that they could actually physically attend the lectures by these Talwar, whom, as Professor Gaitonde describes, that if these three people are teaching, there is nothing better that you can find in this country and very little elsewhere in the world as well. Secondly, they were also happy for the way in which the whole workshop was conducted. For the benefit of 6,830 teachers, let me share the following. When we started this 10, the teacher program, we used to have 600, 700, 800 thousand teachers in our initial model. When we decided to expand, we needed a partnering institution. It was IIT Kharagpur, which came forward under the leadership of then late Professor Sen Gupta. They quickly ramped up, and they are doing absolutely a marvelous job of conducting these workshops. I request Professor Raja Dutta to convey my personal compliments and thanks to the entire team, including Subrato, whom I saw very briefly, and of course the management team. I will mention something about these important contributions in our teaching learning process later during my talk. I would begin with the observation that when the expansion of engineering education has happened, the number of engineering colleges have expanded exponentially. The number of students who take admission now is more than 1.2 million per year. Sadly, the background preparation of many students is not adequate for them to properly learn engineering. In fact, the inadequate school education with which they come to our colleges are expected to be compensated for by us. As a result, many of our teachers in the engineering colleges are not able to spend sufficient time in teaching the basic engineering concepts and subjects, but have to compensate for people not knowing even how to read and write English properly, people not knowing basic mathematics, and people not familiar with basic analytical tools. It only means that our job as te teachers has become that much harder. I generally divide students into three categories. One are the normal students who are able to pull up themselves with the flow of the class. They are the people who generally pass the courses normally. Some of them do well, some of them don't do as well. The second set of students are laggards, and in any class, 10 to 20 percent students who will be falling behind the class. It is these people that we as teachers normally attend to by providing some hand-holding support, by explaining things better to them in extra classes and so on. There's a third category, however, which exists, but which is often neglected. This category comprises about 10 to 15 percent students of any class who are self-motivated, whose background preparation is very good, and they generally perform at the top of the class. Although I don't give much credence to the performance as measured by Mark, 
but it is true that people who perform well are also people or students who are very serious about what they are doing perhaps are more capable and definitely more committed i mentioned this specifically because what i find is that our teachers are unable to do anything special for such students their time is consumed mainly by the bulk of students who are following what is happening in the class and whatever time remains they are required to spend on the laggards to provide them hand holding i submit that it is equally important for us to discharge our duties that we pay special attention to better performing students why because it is these students who are perhaps because of their preparation and seriousness have made us capable of delivering much more to the society in the coming years they are the ones who are capable of generating wealth non linearly they are the ones who are capable of finding very innovative solutions to technical problems they will of course do so whether we do anything for them or not but it is only proper that we as teachers specifically devise some schemes some special sessions some special challenging problems uh, uh, 10% or 15% students so that all of them are far better prepared to work in their life today in the limited time that i have i have decided not to speak of anything more about the technical education but only about us teachers the role that we are expected to play in the coming decades and what kind of preparation that we must do both professionally and personally the first and foremost is the adoption of technology all of you have witnessed this and many such workshops being conducted as professor som observed we all would have thought it impossible to address 6000 participants in any course whether students or teachers just few years ago in most of our top institutions and in the top institutions in the world technology has made heavy inroads all the participating teachers have seen moodle and how effective this simple tool is to collect all the submissions made online by participants i ask my participating teachers have they insisted that their own colleges should have such on learning management system if not they should do so so that the advantages which they have seen for themselves can be given to all their colleague teachers and all the schools from their colleges i will only mention that massive online open courses have inundated this world and that onslaught is being felt everywhere the conventional educational systems and processes are being increasingly questioned and i have no doubt in my mind that this technology adoption will permit great teachers such as the trio from iit kharagpur to be able to take their teaching directly to very large number of students across the world and all the local teachers empowered through such workshops would be fulfilling an extremely important role of ensuring that such knowledge as is given from best lectures is actually converted into useful understanding by local students by engaging those students in a flipped classroom model for discussing difficult concepts explaining uh, harder issues and challenging the students with more challenging problems this is undoubtedly going to happen over the next few years and therefore adoption of technology in our teaching learning process must be hastened must be increased by all of us in all our colleges i would now like to mention four specific things which each one of us as a teacher must be consciously aware of and must work seriously towards achieving the best quality contributions in each of these four dimensions the first for a teacher is one's own knowledge if i am going to teach a subject if i am not knowledgeable in that subject two things happen one my teaching will be affected i will not be able to teach well because i myself do not know that subject second and more important it will create a tremendous sense of deficiency in my mind and therefore it will shake my confidence i will not be able to address my students with the kind of confidence that i need to have in order to appeal 
very, very in control of the teaching learning process. I would urge colleague teachers to ensure that whatever subject they teach, they prepare very thoroughly. Vacations are actually meant for that reason that we should prepare for the courses that we're going to teach in the next semester. The second point I would like to make is the amount of preparation that I do for effective teaching. As I mentioned, it is important to prepare class notes. It is important to pro solve problems, practicing oneself into whatever problems I am going to pose to my students, preparing the whole work plan, work plan for the whole semester, and so on. This is hard work. My own experience over 45 years of teaching is that on an average, it requires four to five hours of preparation for every lecture hour that I spend. And it does not matter whether teaching the course second time or third time, it does require that much of preparation. I urge my colleague teachers to ensure that they spend that kind of time in preparing. And I'm not talking about preparing to acquire knowledge. I'm talking about preparing to deliver that knowledge. There is an associated component. I might be very knowledgeable I might have prepared very well, and yet, while I do very effective teaching, the learning by my students may not be very effective. So I would request my colleague teachers to understand that effective teaching is important, but the final objective of our teaching is effective learning by our students. And that needs to be constantly gauged as we teach, as the semester progresses, merely depending upon the conventional quizzes that we conduct and the exam that we conduct, and then conclude whether the students have learned well or not, is not adequate. And that is the reason why, again, as Professor Soam said, interaction with your students outside the classroom, in the evenings, on holidays, talking to them, trying to gauge how much they have understood, trying to gauge their preparation by the kind of questions they ask, and in turn, encouraging students to ask questions. These are all important contributions to make the learning effective going beyond making our teaching effective. So as I said, number one, my knowledge must be absolutely up to date and I must work hard for it. Number two, I must prepare for delivering that knowledge in the most effective fashion and as an associated issue, I must ensure that I understand whether students are learning well or not. Let me talk about the third thing which is fundamentally required to ensure that the first two things are achieved properly by me. And that is my commitment to the profession. I am aware of the fact that many of our colleague teachers are not joining the teaching academic profession as the first choice of a profession in their career. There is nothing wrong with it. That happens with most people in the world. Everybody does not get to do the first choice of his or her what he or she wants to do in life. And many times we choose the second or third or fourth alternative. That is perfectly fine. However, once I choose an alternative, I shall be judged by the world and I should judge myself also based on what commitment I show in discharging the duties of whatever profession I have joined. Since we are teachers, and let me tell you whether we decide to remain teachers only for some time or for entire career, my requirement of commitment is still the same. Whether I'm going to be a teacher just for one decade, just for one year, just for one semester, or even for one week, every moment that I spend as a teacher, I must have full commitment from my heart. And let me tell you, no rules, no legalities, etc. No outsider can judge my commitment. I am the best judge. I have a simple formula which I have followed for 40 years. Every day when I get up, I look myself into the mirror. And if I can see myself in, and say to myself confidently that yes, yesterday, eight hours of more, honest to God work to earn my salary and earn my food. And I have done due diligence to discharge my duty as a teacher, then I can see myself in my own eyes. And I'm happy now to spend another day. I think each one of us must apply, first define and apply some such test to judge one's own commitment. Please do not depend upon the rest of the world to judge you. 
you should be your best judge but please my request to you is humbly show extraordinary commitment in whatever you are doing the fourth thing that i will share with you is related to this commitment but goes beyond just the commitment and that has to do with our behavior aspects of the human behavior one is how we behave with others normally it is expected that we show courtesy to people that we say please that whenever somebody does a good job we say thank you and that if we make a mistake we say sorry unfortunately these three terms are from the western civilization sadly we have not adopted them i agree that saying please or thank you or sorry just on the face of it superficially has no meaning these words have to be said with the complete meaning and heart behind these words but i will tell you it is important when you say please to a person who is perhaps lower in stature than you an attendant a technician the person will put in a little bit of extra heart in whatever that person is doing treating all human beings with courtesy is a great human requirement and we should not forget although we are authority teachers we are human beings and we deal with human beings saying sorry is actually the most difficult for most human being but i will tell you that if we make a mistake it is much better to say sorry get a rap on the knuckle and go on with the future rather than making other people sulk because of your bad behavior and in turn you feeling bad in your mind always that oh i made the mistake i should have admitted it but i don't have courage to admit it one requirement of human development is to develop this courage to say sorry when make mistake but this was the behavioral part related to teachers behavior to outsiders now i will come to the part which deals with one's own character and its establishment and that deals with ethics ethics has multiple facets all of us are concerned primarily with academic ethics i will tell you it burns my heart while evaluating research publication papers sent by many teachers i find time and again paragraphs after paragraphs have been copied from some journal paper or some other research paper this is called plagiarism but in plain words it is called theft ordinarily if i go and still go into professor vachani's room and steal his television i will go to jail and that will be called stealing however if i steal a paragraph from his paper perhaps i think that is okay it is not okay i would like to specifically share with my teachers the perception of the global academic community is that even if you copy one paragraph from anybody else without giving you credit and without referring properly and citing that reference then it is considered a great academic criminal activity i would urge all of you we are unfortunately sometimes not even aware of this i would urge all of you to ensure that such things do not happen one of the reasons this happens is that we ourselves are not very well prepared in writing properly our written skills are very limited and i am not blaming teachers this is the problem with the entire indian society we talk a lot we read little and we rarely write but for teachers the ability to read and the ability to write is a fundamental ability and i would put it to be as important if not more important than the knowledge of the technical subject that you teach sadly such ability was never emphasized as critically important for teachers nobody coached us on how to teach and we just have learned to teach on our own but i am telling you with my experience please develop these abilities of reading and writing and please avoid any kind of plagiarism there are two or three other dimensions of ethics other than the academic ethics in the in terms of the plagiarism that i mentioned conducting my classes in time is an important part of ethics i am very proud of iit system where if a semester begins on 2nd january let us say and if the classes are supposed to start at 8:30 in the morning 
the classes start sharp at 8.30 in the morning with all teachers present. There is an examination timetable and for last 50 years, no examination timetable has been changed ever. Results are declared before or on the applied day. This is a fundamental ethical responsibility of a teacher individually and of all teachers collectively to ensure that the time plan which has been announced to the students is there too without any problem. Consider this. Next time, if for some small or big reason you feel like not going and engaging your class, I think you should feel terribly ashamed. Even if there is an emergency, you should not miss out on discharging your duties in time. I will only remember one small thing on this occasion which was very big thing actually on, the, on, on, on that time. Late Professor Sen Gupta, uh, in one of the workshops in which he himself was a teacher on signals and systems, I had the privilege of going to Kharagpur and participate in the valedictory function. He was seriously unwell. We were all advising to go home and take rest. But he said, no, this is the last session that I have to attend. I have announced that I shall be there and I shall be there. He was there. Now, if the commitment, of course, Professor, late Professor Sen Gupta is a great person, we may not all be able to emulate that greatness. But what prevents us from ensuring that at least we are conscious of our commitments and at least consciously we try to discharge these commitments? last point about ethics that I would like to discuss with you here is that of the fiduciary responsibility. As teachers, we are required to spend money for professional activity. Any money that we spend needs to be spent diligently, needs to be spent as per rules. One very common thing that I have found grossly being violated is the rule for what we call reimbursement of expenses. Very sadly, I have seen teachers who travel by second class and claim a first class fare reimbursement. I mean, it saddens me so much. Please understand that this is as criminal an activity as anything else. The first person to object to this should be your spouse and your family. But the second person to object to this will be your close friend in your own vicinity. Please remember, that to keep us on check, our own colleagues help. The reason IIT system is what it is today is because there is an extremely strong peer of my colleagues on me. And even if I'm tempted, I'm corrected immediately. Please understand that the temptations will happen in life. But not to give in for temptation, or if we occasionally make a mistake, to correct ourselves quickly and not to repeat any such temptation in future is the hallmark of a true person and true character. And as teachers, it is fundamentally important for us that we imbue and dis display this kind of character. Please appreciate that our students, whom we take for granted, that they are small minions, they are as sensitive and as intelligent as we are because we were all students at one time. They all observe our behavior. They all observe our adherence to ethical standards and they make their own opinion. And please don't forget that our students learn these things from our behavior and our example. I am sorry to stress these four things, two of which had nothing to do with technical teaching and learning, but I have personally believed that these are extremely important. That it is the character that we show, it is the event that we show by which we shall be rewarded in our life. As all of you know, our rewards are not the salary increments that we get. Our rewards are not the uh, uh, recognition that we get in terms of promotion. Of course, they are important in life, and we get them in due course of time. But the best reward for a teacher is when a student 25 years later and remembers fondly the course that you taught so well. There is no better reward than that. But there is still a still better reward. And that reward is when you notice students whom you have taught actually are doing far better, have learned far more than you yourself. Traditionally, in the Indian classical sense, it is called Shishat Paraja. I will tell you one example of this. The 
director of IIT Kharagpur, Professor Pathapradim Chakravarti, whom I hold in the highest esteem as one of the most knowledgeable persons in his field, has created students, two of whom work with me as my colleagues, Professor Shomen Tati and Professor Sunita Saravagi. Both were toppers from IIT Kharagpur, and they were students of Professor Parthapratim Chakravarti. They remember him fondly for whatever mentoring he has done. I have no hesitation in telling that both of them probably not know much more than what Professor Parthapratim or people of our generation would have known. This is truly Shishati Chet Paraja. If the 6,800 teachers who have participated in this workshop resolve that they will try to do something similar, at least try to attempt. Do not forget what Dr. Abdul Kalam once said, dreaming small is our major problem. So dream big, because large dreams only can propel you to greater action. Enjoy life, because every moment of life is critical. It comes only one time. So whether we are working or whether we are doing anything else, we must enjoy and the last point I would like to make is work hard. You cannot create history by working less hard than anything possible. If you do that, dream big, enjoy life, and work hard, D, E, and W will make your life as beautiful as the dew drops. I remember once uh, Professor Wag of one of the remote centers in Noida sent me a beautiful with dew drops on, on, on flowers, and I, I still try to work so that my life becomes as beautiful as those dewdrops. I will conclude this talk by remembering one simple incident which touched my heart. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, was addressing after the election all the elected representatives, I think, in the parliamentary hall. And he was telling them that people have elected us to do something, to perform something, to provide good governance, provide development because of the aspirations of a large number of people. And he made a statement. I recall it in Hindi. I will translate it for those who don't understand Hindi. He said, Ab desh chal pada hai. Aap aur hum chalein ya na chalein. I think what he meant is that this nation has started marching. The youth which has elected you has started on its aspirational journey. They require knowledge. They require a they want to achieve it, and whether you and I do our work or not, they will continue to do that. The only thing is, if we don't do our work properly, they will bash our heads five years later. That was for the elected representatives. But for teachers, please remember, the students will not bash our heads physically, but they will remember us for not having discharged our duties. Let us not give such a chance to our students, both present and future. They expect a lot from us. Society expects a lot from us. And please believe when I say this, each one of us 6,800 teachers can actually make a difference to oneself, to these students, and to our colleagues by showing an extraordinary commitment and an extraordinary sense of responsibility. Thank you so much for listening to me patiently. God bless you all. to you but again let me refer to the fourth point you said and tell you and say you sorry for restricting you because of our time limit may I now request professor PP Chakraborty the chief guest of today's function to say a few words in this occasion professor Chakraborty thank you professor Dr. respected uh, professor Fatak it's so great to always see you and hear you and talk to you as, as always uh, I remember that, you know, we all remember th to all the 8,683 people who have been participating in this program, I wish to let them know that it is through the efforts of Professor Fatak that we in India have taken on this journey of leadership of this talk to 10,000 teachers. And therefore, it is our responsibility to see him lead 
and to, to follow him and work shoulder to shoulder with him to make our all our dreams a success. The other person we remember was Professor Somnath Sengupta, who worked hand in hand with Professor Fatak in developing this program. And this program at IIT Kharagpur will always be remembered for him, for what he had done and taken up. Professor Rajadatta, Professor Somnath Sengupta and his team have done admirably well to develop this program at IIT Kharagpur. And I am really grateful to them for having taken up this mantle and for taking it up so well. I am delighted that IIT Kharagpur was asked to do fluid mechanics because as everybody has pointed out, we have the finest teachers in India and if not the world in fluid mechanics. Scaling up of training, education and learning process at the lowest possible costs using technology is the challenge that only India can take up and show the world. And that's what we have been taking up for several times altogether. And this, I guess, is our latest step in that challenge. To all these 8,000 teachers and more teachers uh, who have participated in this course, I'm sure that you all have benefited from the erudition, learning, and interaction with the August teachers of IIT Kharagpur. But let me tell you that this is just the beginning because if we end up with this, then we have lost the opportunity to tell the world that we are leaders. So I would request you and I would request Professor Datta, Professor Fatak and the rest of the team to work out a mechanism by which this interaction process can be continued not only in improving the teaching process, not only in improving the methodologies, not only in providing answers to questions, new problems, solutions to problems, but making this an avenue as Professor Fatek just said, to identify the most talented people, the most talented teachers and students. And in order to make fluid mechanics as such, such a vibrant program in India that together even if 4,000 or even if 500 people here of these 8,000 people together try to solve some of the most exciting problems together. And I'm sure Professor Shom, Professor Suman Chakravarti and Professor Sandeepan Ghoshmalik will be eager to work with all of you. And we could, and I will request Professor Fatak and Professor Rajadatta to set up a mechanism by which we can take this up as a challenge in which we will become the best forum for fluid mechanics in the whole world. Set up the best program, the best teaching material with all the participants com contributing. It is just not that these three teachers, but if all the 8,000, if not from the 8,000, if even 1,000 or 2,000 teachers participate in providing the best solutions, the best problems, throwing up the best research challenges, producing answers to them and use this forum which has developed to make it into the next generation fluid mechanics program which is the best and the most vibrant fluid mechanics program in the whole world. And whatever is required from our institute to provide infrastructure to do this, I think a follow up on the T uh, 10K program, uh, which enables research, which identifies the best people is absolutely necessary because we have taken the first step in leadership and with our large mass of talented people, we should become the leaders in solving all the problems from the microscopic to the macroscopic levels. And there are problems at plenty. And I believe that once we have such a platform and once we show the courage to start solving problems and doing it with the rigor and ethics that Professor Patak has pointed out, I think this is an absolute necessity. And I, I would request the team here 
to look at a follow up program for this to see how we can take it up. The second thing is from my personal level I have participated in almost all the programs that have come up under such use of technology when the first programs came up in uh, video recording uh, on the NPTEL programs. If you see uh, my videos there you will not recognize me because I was half the size. I have grown so fat and thick that I often do not fit into the video screens anymore. But still Professor Fatak if you agree then I will be willing to take up a course because I think that that would be something that I would actually be contributing to and people would uh, you know I, I hope. So, if a course in algorithm design or something like that is offered then I, I would be very much keen to take it up and take this up forward not only in the course, but also into a me methodology which shows that we are we will be the world leaders in this discipline in the country as well as in the world. So, I really congratulate all of you especially the participants of this program. Please make sure that here is an opportunity which the taxpayers of the country have offered you to really not only learn, but also come up and contribute. The learning phase never completes as Professor Shom pointed out, but the contribution phase for you has just begun. Here are three people from IIT Kharagpur who will provide you with the best of problems and we can form a larger team around them. And for the best of you I would again request Professor Fatak and from my side uh, it is already done. If there are some teachers who are really very good and who would like to pursue their PhD or postdoctoral studies either in IIT Bombay or IIT Kharagpur with these teachers in fluid mechanics. It is an open offer to them. Please come. We will offer you all the mechanisms and facilities to carry out research and carry out advanced teaching at IIT Kharagpur. With this I congratulate all of you. I look forward and I am extremely excited. Uh, I do not really know whether people will give me the chance to take up a course, but I still would stand by my challenge. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Chakraborty. In fact, let me just announce that our next workshop is on control systems. Uh, the registration will start from 15 June. The coordinators workshop is from September 15 to 19. And the main workshop is December 2nd to 12th. 2014 and the teachers will be Professor Siddhartha Mukhopadhyay and Professor T.K. Ghoshal from Jadupur University. Professor Siddhartha Mukhopadhyay from IIT Kharagpur Electrical Department and Professor Ghoshal from Jadupur University. So again uh, Electrical Department again two of the best teachers I, s I understand uh, in uh, uh, two of the two of the teachers best very good teachers in India in control systems and just after control systems we will be going to computer science and uh, I think that is that is the time I let me request in this forum Professor P. B. Chakraborty to take up a course on algorithms. I done. Thank you. Done. Thank you, Professor Chakraborty. Thank you so much. May I now uh, uh, start the feedback session? And uh, I request uh, Shubroto to connect to few of the remote centers. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is uh, Morali Osha coordinator of RCID 1177 Bales University, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Actually, 
the technical sessions performed by the eminent professors for the past 10 days were very, very useful to our participants they are enjoyed so with this i hand, i hand over the uh, my to one of our participant okay thank you good afternoon sir uh, first i would like thanks to iit gaur to organize the 10 days workshop on fluid mechanics uh, and special thanks to iit gaur pro who are organized it very well and also also thank to the remote center coordinator and workshop coordinator also and my special thanks to special assignments given and tutorial sessions we are enjoyed and learnings and we are motivated also so i am concludely i am very thanks to iit corpor for organize the very well this program thank you sir thank you marshadi 1020 don bosco Hello. Please. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. We are. We are able to Hello. hear you. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are very thankful. We all the part all the participants of this uh, remote center uh, thank all the teachers uh, for their uh, great technical uh, knowledge uh, transfer to us. All, all these 10 days we have learned uh, the technical aspects of fluid mechanics but on the 10th day we have also learned something spiritual from Professor Pathak from IIT Bom Bombay. We are also thankful to him and uh, this workshop which has been conducted in our city uh, has been, uh, has been uh, very beneficial for us as female teachers where the problem of traveling, uh, then travel reimbursement, etc., all the problems uh, did not uh, did not come up. So we are very thankful uh, to the organizers and to the coordinator as well uh, for conducting this workshop in our city. And uh, we uh, uh, like and the uh, and we have learned many things. Like uh, many of our misconceptions uh, have been corrected through this workshop like the misconception of the incompressible flow and incompressible fluid and many other misconceptions in renal transport theorem then turbo machinery etc have been corrected we are thankful to all the teachers professor chakravit professor shom and professor ghosh Malik, and we look forward to attend many more such workshops uh, conducted by iit kharagpur thank you sir and thank you all of you and thank you the coordinator as well thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. RCID 11666. Hello. Yes. Good evening, sir. Yes, go on. Yes, yes, thankful to our teachers and uh, thankful to IIT Kharagpur for conducting such big workshop on fluid mechanics. I hand over the mic to our participant. Okay. okay, thank you. Yes, yes, go on. Hello. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Fatak for uh, starting this type of uh, workshop for all the all, all over India. Uh, sir, uh, I have some suggestions, sir. Uh, before that, I would like to thong, uh, thank uh, all of all professors for giving such a wonderful workshop and wonderful knowledge and opportunity uh, to us for attending this workshop. And sir, I have some suggestions. Uh, sir, uh, mm, uh, I think uh, there should be some forum where this IIT faculties and our other uh, other faculties from India should uh, connect with each other. And uh, if there is some knowledge from, uh, if there is some doubt or any kind of thing is there, uh, they should uh, connect with them and they they clear their doubts. I think this should uh, this thing should be uh, happen somewhere. Uh, uh, now I would like I would like to thank you all.
for giving such wonderful opportunity to us. Thank you. Uh, actually, let me tell you, we already have such a, such a forum, ask a question, which has been initiated by IIT Bombay and uh, IIT Kharagpur. We will be bringing it to IIT Kharagpur very soon, where you can connect to IIT Bombay once in a week and you can you can uh, give some questions in your website there there is a website there ask a question website by at bombay and there you can you can put the question and you can interact with a particular teacher once in a week so it's already there and at iit kharagpur we will try to bring it as soon as possible thank you thank you for your suggestion next thank you sir sir <laughs> RCID 1019. Mm -hmm. No, Hello, sir. Yes. Go on. Uh, now, we have almost come to the end of the two weeks workshop. I would like to thank each and everyone who has helped us to organize this workshop. To begin this, I would like to thank Karakpur IIT for giving us a chance to conduct such a workshop on sewage mechanics. Thanks to Professor S. Keshom, Professor A.C. Chakraborty, and Professor Goshmalik, sir, for their wonderful lecture session. Thanks to Professor Patak sir for introducing this new concept of training and upgrading teachers. Thanks to all participants for their dedicated and sincere effort to learn from these distinguished teachers. I believe this workshop has benefited the participants in several ways. The participants were enriched by all their interactive sessions, helping them to understand the subject in detail and clear their doubts. Now the participants have been introduced to the concept, I sincerely hope that they will make their best possible utilization of everything so that they can gather and pass the same to the <coughs> student for the actual benefit. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the principal and the entire management of our college for providing such assistance. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, next question. Can we connect to 1080? RCID 1080? Yes, RCID 1080. Yes. Can we have your feedback, please? Hello, sir. May I add a bill to you, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Go on. Yeah. Sir, uh, student, participants, are, most of the participants, they are feeling very happy. And uh, they understood that they got more concept uh, rather than what they are teaching now. And uh, participants, they are really expressed, expressed more gracious to be attending all these sessions. And... Uh, Participants are uh, very happy to uh, kn uh, knowing uh, more subject and they are uh, impressing by impressive and they are saying that it will be useful their, uh, useful for their research work, most of them. And uh, one one thing is uh, network, some network problem is there from both sides. Uh, that, uh, that will be rectified in uh, minutes. Uh, that was only the thing. Okay. And everything, rest of the things, it is uh, they feel very happy, sir. Thank you. Next time, please. Next time, you ask your technical person to check the bandwidth and uh, uh, and see the technical so that the technical problems are not there during the course of the lecture. Thank you. RCID one two one eight. RCID one two one eight. Lucknow. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can we have uh, your feedback, please? Uh, uh, 
सर आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक टू ऑल द फैकल्टी मेंबर्स लाइक एस के सोम सर सुमन चक्रवर्ती सर एंड संदीपन घोष मौलिक सर दे हैव टीच अस वेरी गुड एंड वी हैव लर्न वेरी मच एंड थैंक थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू हेलो यस सर कैन वी हैव योर फीडबैक प्लीज हेलो हेलो सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून सर आफ्टरनून यस कैरी ऑन हेलो इज इट ऑडिबल सर यस यस कैरी ऑन सर दिस इज एवीएस श्रीधर कुमार प्रोफेसर एवीएस श्रीधर कुमार वर्कशॉप कोऑर्डिनेटर uh, फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइकली ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ नारायण इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज नेल्लूर आई लाइकली एक्सप्रेस सिंसियर थैंक्स टू organizers uh, for conducting this uh, wonderful workshop on fluid mechanics for all uh, engineering uh, uh, faculty for maths physics and uh, uh, mathematics mechanical civil faculty uh, this is not a, a question sir a small request uh, for you actually uh, this program has been planned for 15 days two weeks workshop but actually i planned to gather 130 participants from different engineering colleges which are located uh, surrounding uh, uh, nellore district but unfortunately only 38 participants have attended regularly uh, the reason is uh, uh, the examinations the lab and examinations are going on in our uh, uh, district uh, as per jn2 syllabus is concerned a small request on this occasion sir if possible uh, uh, can you uh, organize this type of workshops in a two slots sir each one week slot with a gap of one month i think this is very much feasible to all the faculty who belongs to private engineering colleges sir this is a small request uh, from my side sir Hello, one more. Uh, uh, my participant uh, would like to interact with you, sir. Afternoon, sir. My name is Dr. S. Nanda Kishore Reddy, professor in mathematics, sir. We are very thankful for IIT Kharagpur for conducting two-week IST workshop regarding fluid mechanics, sir. As though the lecture in the di two-dimensional flow of a Newtonian fluid and not Newtonian fluid, the effect of Amber, the effect of Darcy. all this you discussed in the previous session sir it will be useful very full for us uh, to teach the students uh, in that manner sir we are very thankful for iit karpur in the same manner the chakravarti sir also we are very thankful sir director sir for giving this opportunity we can we see that uh, it may be twice in a year sir by twice in a year we know the latest trends in fluid mechanics as well as we go for these the students uh, in a proper way sir thank you sir thank you one more participant is there sir this program actually it's not possible for every lecturer but so direct interact with the iit professors this is very graceful to i say like a, a good program we needed to the so lecturers okay thank you sir very very thank you for this type of programs conduct every uh, every time thank you thank you next हेलो सर फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल द टीम ऑफ पी टेन के टी एंड एज अ वर्कशॉप कोऑर्डिनेटर इन विश्वकर्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे आई एम जस्ट हैंडिंग ओवर दिस माइक टू आवर हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट प्रोफेसर एच जी फाकटकर he will be conveying his views just now thank you sir hello sir i am professor hello hello uh, i am professor pakatkar speaking 
basically this such type of workshops are very useful for our faculty and uh, uh, almost it is a its workshop going in our vit and this was also a very good workshop where uh, all the participants attended for last two weeks uh, but uh, what i one uh, feedback i got if you give some more practical examples or something like that uh, it will be of much more help to our faculty this is from my side thank you very much professor sant so two of our participants would like to speak on this just a minute sir Uh, first of all, thank you very much to all the three faculties, to the partners for last uh, eight to ten days, uh, and especially the last three sessions regarding the turbine machines, the, like uh, reaction turbine, the degree of reaction, and all the velocity triangles. Okay, the uh, sir has told us very thoroughly and cleared many doubts and the concepts. So thank you very much. Um, Thanks to Professor Fatak for uh, giving us the uh, another aspect of the teacher. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your suggestions and feedback. Thank you. Next. RCID one zero nine three. Yes. Hello. Hello. RCID one zero nine three. Here, Miss Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. Hello. Yeah. Hello. We are not able to Hello. hear you. Yes. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes. Now we we are able to hear you. Carry on. This. Uh, two week workshop on fluid mechanics uh, was really helpful it is a dream of all the engineers uh, in this country to learn uh, iit but uh, for many of them this, this does not become possible but with the help of technology this has become possible so uh, we have learned the concepts of fluid mechanics from the, you can say epitome of knowledge IIT Khadakpur. Uh, so, Professor Som, uh, Professor Chakrabarti, and uh, Professor Ghosh Molik has explained the concepts from uh, fundamentals, and we have really our fundamentals have become uh, very strong with the help of uh, uh, these lectures. And uh, uh, not only that, we have learned uh, how to teach the subject. So, this course has been very helpful. to all the uh, professors who have attended uh, this course and uh, uh, i am thankful uh, for that uh, to uh, the organizers uh, from iit khadakpur as well as the local organizers from ldrp thank you. thank you thank you very much yes next kerala Yes, RCID one zero seven four, Carmel Engineering College, Peronad, Rani Peronad, Kerala. Yes, your feedback, please. Yes please go on Yeah we we are going to RCID 1042 Kottayam 1042 Kottayam Can we have your feedback please Yes. Yes. 
Hello? Hello? We are not able to hear you. Please put on your microphone. Hello? We are, I'm sorry, we are not able to hear you. Uh, we are going to MP Madhya Pradesh. RCID 1120, Jabalpur. Yes. St. Aloysius Institute of Technology, Jabalpur. Can we have your feedback, please? Hello, yes, we are able to see you. Please connect. Somebody has a mic. such a wonderful course. It has been very informative and people will have gained a lot of knowledge from it. Uh, sir, one request, sir. There is the requirement of training uh, graphics also. And people go for different type of coaching. And if this is organized by either IIT Khadakpur or Bombay, we will be very much thankful to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, can you go to uh, 1219 Prestige Institute of Engineering and Science, Indore, Madhya Pradesh? Hello. Yes. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I would like to thank to IIT Kharagpur and all professors from IIT Kharagpur and Professor Patakar too. Sir, we have learnt a lot from this workshop. Dynam dynamic part is very good from your side, but our participants want to learn more about the biology part. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. Uh, we'll go to Andhra Pradesh now. Can we connect to uh, RCID 1125, Turbo Machinery Institute of Technology and Science, Hyderabad? Good afternoon, sir. Yes. We are from uh, Turbo Machinery Institute. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Please go on. Uh, uh, it's a really wonderful uh, exercise for the 10 days for our faculty group, uh, particularly in this subject. Uh, uh, you know, particularly as a metallurgist also, I feel greatly privileged to have the interaction in this particular program, which was given by our college. Sir, one thing I would like to analyze on one particular aspect. The particular implications of this particular uh, study on human beings if you take them as a system and take in a similar balancing equation of different forces acting, I think that would be a very great study for all of us, sir. Can you elaborate on this, this please? Really ah, yes, particularly the forces which are acting on us, uh, particularly if we make an analysis and then go through your particular way of uh, explaining the balancing equations, particularly some forces come to zero and some forces come as a unique number. You know, whatever mathematical way we explain or whatever dimensional or non-dimensional, the ultimate result coming into the form of equations and nicely it was very well explained sir and I think this gives us a very good scope for our research orientation in this particular subject while applying it to our human systems also. I am very glad sir for this course. As a metallurgist, I really enjoyed, particularly when I look at the steels which are being melted and the running metals going through a very liquid, you know, the viscosity, particularly the water, like a water it runs in a steel plant, particularly when we see that. And when I was just trying to correlate uh, with your uh, particular classes, I was very much, uh, you know, the fastest with which the particles were moving from the uh, so-called the blast furnace into the running through the beds and then passing on to the ladders and thereby the way in which it was shifted 
and I think that is also a very good study that can be taken up for the research by, by our people. I would also like to add one of our colleagues who would like to add some more information, sir. Ms. Yes. Slota, please. Carry on. Speak on. Yes. I would like to thank uh, Professor Suman Chakraborty, uh, Professor S.K. Som, and uh, Professor Ghosh Maoli for sharing their knowledge. And uh, we have benefited in regard of fundamentals. And this workshop will help us uh, to teach more effectively since it involves physical concepts uh, behind each mathematical equation which enables uh, the students to get more interested in fluid mechanics. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, may we know, now go to Assam again, NIT Silchar, 1184. RCID 1184, please. NIT Silchar. Yes, your feedback. Yes, please go on. Hello, we are not able to hear you. We can see you, but we are not able to hear you. Please put on your microphone. NIT Silchar. I am sorry, we are not able to hear you. We are moving on. To Delhi, there is one institute from Delhi, RCID 1238, Maharaja Agrasen Institute of Technology, Rohini, New Delhi. Can we get connected there? Yes, NIT Silchar, uh, sorry. Uh, Delhi, uh, Maharaja Agrasen Institute of Technology, Rohini, New Delhi. Can we have your feedback, please? Hello. 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 Yes, carry on. We are able to hear you. Hello. Yes, yes carry on. Hello. Yeah. Please continue. Please, please. Hello. Continue, continue. It's fine. Hello. He can't hear us in that. Hello. Moment. Yes, carry on. He cannot hear us. Hello, continue, please. We are able to hear you. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 We are able to hear you. Please continue. Hello? We are able to hear you. Please continue. Hello? Yes. Hello. Carry on. Carry on, please. He cannot hear us. Please carry on. Hello. Yes, carry on. Please carry on. <laughs> yeah, we are moving on to Haryana. Uh, can we go to 1318 Amity University Haryana Gurgaon Maneshar Gurgaon Amity University Haryana Maneshar Gurgaon Sir, I'm audible? Yes, you are audible. Please carry on. Hello, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, sir. The workshop was good. Uh, in fact, all the participants had enjoyed the workshop. But we would like to suggest one thing as per the feedback received by our participants. They say that in the future, if such workshops should be organized, uh, we may go for application based, that is industrial or real life problem that are related to this particular subject may also be included. Secondly, quiz sessions we may organize on daily basis. Uh, like the, the workshop that was organized by IIT Bombay, it has uh, implemented clickers as well. You know, when quiz is going on in every session, 
it increases the uh, participation or the involvement of the candidates on the daily basis. You know, bit interest is being created in the candidates if required. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your suggestions. Thank you. Uh, thank we you, sir. Thank you so we much. move on to uh, uh, one more institute uh, of Haryana, 1162 Asia Pacific Institute of Information Technology, SD India Panipat. RCID 1162. Please, please give your feedback. I'm sorry, your camera and your sound is uh, not okay. So we are moving on to Karnataka now. Uh, RCID 1070, Amrita School of Engineering, Bangalore. One zero seven zero. Yes. 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 Please, we are able to see you. RCID 1070, can we have your feedback please? Hello? Yes. Yes, carry on. Uh, hello? Carry on, carry on please, we are able to hear you. He said. Uh, hello sir. Yes, hello, please carry on. Hello. So, from audio from your side is uh, it's breaking, sir. Yeah, carry on. No problem. But we are able we can, to hear you. We can hear you. Please go on. Please continue. Hello. We can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Sir, uh, regarding the workshop, uh, it was uh, pretty good, sir. Especially the concept regarding uh, the street lines and the streamlines was uh, explained in a very beautiful manner. Apart from that one, the basics of the things uh, is including the equations of the nearest stroke equations and uh, regarding the Bernoulli's theorems was uh, explained uh, pretty good, sir. And uh, I think uh, most of the participants uh, who are uh, sitting over here, I think uh, they are definitely benefited by this workshop, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, we are going to, uh, coming Hello. back to West Bengal, Techno India, RCID 1268. Yes, yes, we are able to see you. Yes, carry on. Yes, hello, carry on. Good evening, sir. Uh, from Techno India College of Technology, we thank to uh, Professor Atok sir and those who are sitting at the dais, our special heartiest thanks to Professor Som sir, Professor Shumon sir, Professor Sandeepan sir. This, uh, this course was very much uh, useful for us. Uh, we thank to the, our, this IIT Kharagpur, this workshop coordinator, coordinator team. Uh, this, we feel very fortunate to get the knowledge and to listen the lecture of this famous eminent persons on the fluid mechanics from IIT Kharagpur. And we had the many gray area in fluid mechanics in our knowledge that we could clear it from that course. Nice. And not only mechanical engineering department, our physics, mathematics, and civil engineering department participants also, they got a lot of benefit from this uh, course and they got a lot of knowledge. They could clear their uh, basics uh, doubts on the Reynolds transport theorem. Uh, boundary layer theorem and others. Uh, my again, my thanks to all these uh, coordinator team at this IIT Kharagpur. And one thing I would request to IIT Kharagpur team that whenever we are interacting with the students, uh, they are also we are getting some doubts. Uh, that if IIT Kharagpur can arrange like that any communication system that we can communicate our doubt to this eminent person on fluid mechanics and other subject also then it will be useful for our knowledge to enhance our knowledge 
this is my uh, request from Techno India College of Technology faculty members. And also, I would request to that all IIT Kharagpur, this team, that if they conduct any other course on course subject of fluid mechanics, like heat transfer and design, strength of material, then we will be very much thankful, we will be very much helpful uh, uh, then to get the knowledge on the subject. Again, thanks from all, all participants. Thank to IIT Kharagpur, this organizing team. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestions. We will look into uh, your suggestion. As I already said, that uh, uh, Ask a Question is an initiative by IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur may start it very soon. So we are looking into it. Thank you, sir. Uh, please give us some time. Thank you. Uh, we are going to Maharashtra now. Uh, RCID 1182, Orchid College of Engineering and Technology, Hippar Raga Solapur. Are you there? RCID 1182. NK Orchid College of Engineering and Technology. Yes. Yes, we are able to see you. Please. Please give your feedback, please. Please, we are waiting for your feedback. Put on your microphone. We are not able to hear you. Please put on your microphone. We are moving on now to Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Kolapur, 1250. 1250. 1250, RCID 1250, are you there? I am sorry, there is some technical problem in connecting them. So I am moving on to Nasik, MET Institute of Engineering, Nasik, 1261. RCID 1261. 1261, are you there? Yes, please put on your microphone. We are not able to hear you. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Am I audible, sir? Yes, it's audible. Carry on. Uh, uh, sir, uh, on behalf of all the participants from our center, I would first like to thank for organizing such a wonderful session. There were many concepts as teachers also we faced in a subject like fluid mechanics, which were wonderfully solved. I would like to expect uh, especially turbulence, despite referring to so many books not uh, well understood by many of us, and lot more concepts were made very clear. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. We are moving on to Orissa now. Only a small suggestion. Yes. Yes, carry on. Uh, I feel that a lot of participants couldn't get their questions answered. Yeah. So if you have if one. We can do something regarding that, that would be a great help. Uh, uh, we will try to do it through Moodles now because now only the feedback session is going on. We cannot answer your questions right now. So, so we'll upload it in Moodles. You can you can put your questions there. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Can we move on to Odisha now? One three zero eight Roland Institute of Technology, Bharampur, Ganjam. Roland Institute of Technology, Bharampur, Ganjam. Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes. Audible, sir. Yes, yes. It's audible. Carry on. Hello. Yes, please give sir. your feedback. Right. Sir, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, first of all. I must say, uh, uh, it, it is really a uh, very knowledge session. Uh, I mean, uh, in ten, 10 days, we covered 
the fluid me uh, I, uh, the fluid mechanics uh, the courses that was from uh, uh, our faculty members was uh, really interesting sir the uh, thing is that uh, all the, all the participants are also in, in learned a lot and uh, interesting sir everything right sir. thank you thank you we move on to another college in uh, odisha college of engineering bhubaneswar 1339 RCID 1339 Are you there Yes we are able to see you please give your feedback Sir you are not audio sir Please check your audio Please put on your microphone we are not able to hear you Hello yes yes now it's fine Yes carry on carry on now it's fine There is some problem again with your microphone we are not able to hear you Are you able to hear sir Yes now it's fine we are able to hear Yeah So all the professors who have taught us we have got lot of good teaching from uh, them and we are very much thankful to them and uh, uh, of course uh, we have a small suggestion that the course was uh, more emphasized on mathematics uh, engineering so uh, what we suggest that there should be some balance between mathematics and engineering so that uh, it would be more advantageous to the participants that is uh, one thing and uh, we are very much uh, grateful and thankful to iit kharagpur for organizing such uh, program and all our participants have taken the benefit of it and we are really uh, uh, highly obliged to iit kharagpur and uh, also iit bombay and expect uh, such programs in future um, and we will definitely uh, participate if chance uh, is given to us thank, thank you, you so much. thank you for your suggestion let me tell you there cannot be any engineering without mathematics and physics anyway thank you very much we we move on to tamil nadu uh rcid 1255 mount zion college of engineering and technology 1255 is a good evening good evening yes carry on as yes, we are from mount zion engineering college yes and during this end day 10 days uh, we have a nice sessions with uh, legends in fluid mechanics uh, sir uh, suman chakravarty and uh, sk swam sir gosh molik sir and uh, one thing we have to uh, we have a uh, suggestion from our side when you are framing the syllabus for the next workshop kindly include uh, many syllabus from anna university curriculum also so it will be helpful for our uh, uh, students from tamil nadu and another thing <coughs> after every session uh, last 10 minutes please have the question session and uh, sk swam sir have practiced today that one it was a great great helpful and uh, when you are writing the notes kindly mark the page number also so that we can ask question later on thank you thank Anyhow, you it was a entire yes. thank you thank you uh, in fact i little uh, i'm little confused how come fluid mechanics of anna university is different from fluid mechanics of other uh, universities it should be the same fluid mechanics is fluid mechanics anyway we we will try to see what's your syllabus is thank you for your suggestions uh we go on to one more institute at uh, in uh, tamil nadu regional center of anna university 1208 yes hello? yes hello yes please the course is the course is very useful for the past 10 days yes hello? Yes yes we are able to hear you carry the on course, the the course is the course is very useful and very informative for the for our for our center thank you 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we are moving to Chhattisgarh. Uh, one three two five Zindal Institute OP Zindal Institute Technology Raigar, are you there? Camera. Yes. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Carry on. Sir, uh, I would like to extend my gratitude. And thanks towards the eminent faculties of IIT Khadakpur for giving such a nice lecture, which has basically cleared a lot of our concepts. Sir, one of my participants would also like to express his gratitude. Yes, carry on. You have given a lot of information regarding the fluid mechanics, which were the fundamentals to understand most of the uh, fluid uh, related problems and that will help in that the, the way uh, when the research and other things are will, will be developed on the basis of this mathematical modeling type of the information through the fluid mechanics. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. We just have time for two or three more uh, centers. Let me go to Jharkhand, BIT Mesra, RCID 1331, BIT Mesra, RCID 1331. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, carry on. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, regards to professors. Yeah, regards to professors of IIT Kharagpur. It was wonderful opportunity for us to attend this kind of course. We could able to clear a lot of misconceptions which we had by reading the common books of fluid mechanics. It is really wonderful. Uh, one of my participants would like to tell something. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we would like to thanks to uh, IIT Kharagpur for conducting this kind of uh, course on fluid mechanics. I uh, would like to thanks to Professor Som, Professor Suman Chakravarti, and Professor Ghosan Malik for giving uh, the clear cut concept of fluid mechanics. We would like to thanks to entire management team of uh, this workshop. Uh, we would also like to thanks Professor Pathak to give such an encouraging uh, statements regarding the teaching and all uh, for our we faculty members. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, we are going to Pondicherry. There is one institute from Pondicherry, Regency Institute of Technology, Yanam, 1110, 1110. RCID 1110. Can we have your feedback, please? Pondicherry. Hello? Yeah, hello. Please put on your camera. Hello, triple one zero, please put on your camera. Our remote center is your technology. I convey my thanks to the team of IIT Kharagpur for giving such an opportunity in learning such a course on fluid mechanics. And I convey my thanks to all the professors. Professor uh, S.K. Somo, Suman Chakravarti and uh, Maulik on their uh, beautiful speeches and the lectures which really enlightened us and definitely such program will uh, definitely enrich our knowledge. Definitely we will give such a knowledge to our students and uh, I request the team of IIT Karakpur to give such a program in future much more. And my special thanks to today the appearance uh, Mr. Pa Professor Patak has given uh, uh, things on teaching and learning uh, program by different teachers and all. Really, it's very really fortunate for us to uh, be, see the Professor Patak. Thanks a lot to the team of IIT Karakpur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, for the last question, uh, for the last feedback, we are going to Punjab. Uh, Chitkara University, Chandigarh, 1170. Are you there? Chitkara University, Chandigarh. Yes, Chitkara University, please put on your 
microphone and please give your feedback can you hear me sir yes can you hear me sir yes yes can you hear me sir yes we are able to hear you uh, good afternoon sir yeah it is very much effective uh, for this course uh, for us and one thing i like to add is the exercise if you give it more it beneficial to us sir. thank you thank you uh, one thing i like to add is yes okay thank you. yes carry on uh, exercises if you give it more it, it, it exercises if you give it more it will be beneficial to you sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you and uh, in fact the last center again in punjab iet baddal technical campus roper 1328 rcid 1328 this is the last one we will <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, my sir is coordinator from IIT Bengal, Punjab. Hello. Yes. Yes. Carry on. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir, actually, the participants are more were more enthusiastic for this fluid mechanics workshop. The vice chancellor of Punjab Technical University. came himself to inaugurate the opening ceremony of this workshop okay and meanwhile after two three days padam shri chandramohan ji come to interact with the faculty of iit kharagpur and with the participants okay sir it was it was a very good uh, learning initiative and more analytical lectures were delivered for us practical and research oriented there is some suggestion some experiments are to likely to be added and some more mechanical uh, subject workshops should be conducted in future and from the nearby colleges there are about 100 colleges in punjab technical university and uh, it is a proud privilege for us that for we got first time selected by iit kharagpur for this workshop and in future many more colleges are interested in this and in the future you will see the many more road centers and in punjab sir thank you sir thank you thank you for your for your interest uh, we will we will try to see that uh, uh, from our side we will give you as much as support as possible and uh, we would expect that you also for the next workshops you also come up with your uh, uh, with your uh, participants thank you uh again uh, there is a request so the last uh, institute uh, we are trying to find uh, no not last in fact last but one there are two one is nit agartala rcid 1133 are you there nit agartala can i hear me so yes you are we are able to hear you but i find you are the uh, only person uh, Yes, sir. Uh, most of them have left us already. Actually. Okay. If you have something to say, please say it. Sir, uh, the uh, workshop was very useful to us. Actually, uh, we hardly get a chance to interact and uh, to be taught by IIT teachers, even in IIT teachers. Mm. And we want to have such kind of workshop in the future. Also. Thank you. Uh, we move move on to okay. Uttaranchal University of Petroleum and Energy Studies, Dehradun. One two seven zero, RCID one two seven zero. RCID one two seven zero, please. RCID one two seven zero, please. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, I am your officer. Hello. Please go on. Please go on. Hello. Please go on. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much for uh, such a wonderful workshop. Uh, in our center, there is a lot of appreciation uh, I have received from the participants. They have appreciated it well. Uh, I would like to hand over to some of the participants to share their feedback. 
Hello. Am I am audible. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the, all the professors of IIT Kharagpur for organizing a wonderful workshop uh, in on fluid mechanics. Uh, it has been uh, a long time. Uh, we have touched this subject uh, decently. We have been teaching other subjects also. That is the reason. But uh, after going to add with the subject, uh, now we are get, gaining more confidence to again uh, make up with fluid mechanics. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And with this, we come to an end of the feedback session. Uh, let me hand over the mic to Professor Shobhoshachi Shengupto for the vote of thanks. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure to propose a vote of thanks at the end conclusion of this two-week IST workshop on fluid mechanics delivered by Professor Shankar Shom, Professor Shuman Chakravarti and Professor Shandipan Ghosh Maulik. At the onset, uh, we wish, all wish to thank Professor Partha Pratim Chakravarti, the Director of Indian Institute of Technology for his constant support and for being also being present with us for such a long time. We all know that he was out of station for since uh, about today afternoon and the first program that he attended was this program perhaps. He was still having a quite a number of meetings at hand. So, we really thank him to be the chief guest here and to come to join us here as a chief guest of, for this program. We are really indebted as many of the participants have also mentioned to Padam Sri Professor Deepak Fatak, who is the father figure of this mission of, uh, of uh, education through ICT. And I think we, he is being able to do a great job in association with IIT Kharagpur in a, with along with IIT Bombay. We could not get through this program without the support of Dean Srik and Dean Continuing Education, Dean Sponsor Research and Industrial Consultancy IIT Kharagpur and Dean Con Continuing Education IIT Kharagpur and because of them only such a program of this uh, size can be broadcast and can reach all of you at your locations. This has also been made possible by the heads of the centers of Computer Informatics Center and Center for Educational Technology, who has provided the logistics for delivering this course to all those 300 or 200 plus in centers across the country. It is also our pleasure to thank Everybody here in this 10 KT uh, uh, network, including the administrative staff, the technical staff and the accounts people who all together has, have made this possible. Finally, I would uh, express our appreciation to all those possibly a few thousand still being there at these remote centers till the very end of this program and I thank all of them profusely for making this great uh, program of education through ICT possible and together we are doing something which no other country in the world has done so far. I think instead of what uh, Anna University suggested universities across the country should try to align their own courses, their own syllabi whenever they revise it with those which are offered in NPTEL and in programs like this NMAICT so that they do not have to rely only on textbooks which are available in the market. They have some other reading material on which they can also rely on. So, in conclusion, you have all made it a great success and we thank you all profusely. Thank you very much. 
थैंक यू